Man, I, yes, I got to look. I got to look at my tax estimated tax bill yesterday, and I think I might be like a one percenter. I think, uh, but my salt, this salt thing, this salt thing. You have got to help the one percenters, my man. You have got to help well, all. So of it's us. not just. It's it's not just <laughs> about. It's just not about you, as you know. It's about the impact. It's, it's always it's just about class, me. The middle class. It, it's, it's a middle class issue in Jersey but and it, New York. But they'll area, never right? let you do it because it helps people like me. They'll never let you do it. Why do you keep insisting you're still going to try and do it? It's never going to happen. Be, be, because let, because I believe two things. One, it's a cop and a teacher in New Jersey. Pay, if the in Bergen County, the median property tax is fifteen grand. In Kentucky, just for comparison, it's twelve hundred dollars average property tax. Right. So a cop and a teacher get hit here, not just you. Right. A cop and a teacher, and two. If we want to help in states like mine take care of good schools and good roads and great programs and, and things to help hard-pressed families, we need to have people not leave our state. And they're leaving our state right now because the taxes, because of salt. we got to reinstate salt. I've made it pretty clear. I'll get you one of these. No salt, <laughs> no dice. We've got to make sure we reinstate it. You make way too much sense. You need a new party. You, I, I mean, <laughs> Congressman Comer, can't you leave the lights on for him? He wants to. He wants to. Can't you hear that? Yeah, I, I can, and I appreciate Josh. He's one of the one of the good guys. And the reason that Joe Biden wants to be bipartisan now is because there are a couple of Democrats like Josh that have said, "No, we're not going to go along with this uh, infrastructure plan unless you do something about salt." So I appreciate that. But for Republicans to support this, it's going to have to be infrastructure, and it's going to have to be paid for in a manner that's. Uh, beneficial to the taxpayers. We can't have all these environmental regulations and all of these uh, uh, wage rates that uh, are out of whack with what a normal project cost should do. You've mentioned on the show many times this morning, we're already faced with inflation, so it's going to cost a lot more to do this infrastructure project today than it would have a year ago, and that's unfortunate. But with respect to the jobs plan, the best thing Joe Biden can do to get people to work is to cut off the extended unemployment. That's where the Republicans support. So uh, to celebrate 266,000 new jobs this week when there are almost 8 million jobs posted right now, that's not much of a, a jobs accomplishment. And he doesn't have a lot of credibility with Republicans on a jobs plan. But we do want to do an infrastructure bill as long as it invests in real infrastructure and it's done in a manner that's beneficial to the taxpayers. Congressman Comer, before we make this sound like it's too much of a fait accompli and that you guys are going to come together and make this happen, let, let's talk about the SALT uh, deduction that Congressman Gottheimer wants reinstated. Your party is the one that stripped that using budget reconciliation and without a single mm -hmm. Democratic vote. Would you support what Congress Gottheim, Congressman Gottheimer is saying in terms of saying, OK, we want infrastructure spending, but we want the SALT deduction brought back? Would you be in favor of that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's unfortunate what uh, people in those high property tax states are, are paying for property tax, and it's unfortunate that they're not getting to deduct that or, or their state income tax. So uh, I would be open to that. I'm I'm for fair taxation. And I also agree with what he said about people paying their fair share. There are a lot of people that get out of paying taxes. And instead of raising taxes, I've always been a proponent of just looking at the tax code and eliminating unnecessary tax deductions and unnecessary tax credits to make sure that everyone pays their fair share. So I think that's a better strategy than just all out raising taxes. Say yes, Becky, did Perfect. he say we yes? We this entire thing in six minutes. <laughs> did he say yes? I mean, you he just, did. You we just, have, you we have, just six minutes, we solved this whole thing. Oh, my. We solved the whole problem please, right here. Please, please. Congressman Comer, I'm sending you a button today. I love it. It never happened. Let, let, let me be completely transparent here. Josh isn't like most of the Democrats in uh, in Washington. Okay, they look at the world completely different. So uh, I, you know, we could sit Never down happened. and get an agreement. I don't know about Pelosi and the squad and and the rest of his uh, colleagues. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.